Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another new player guide. In today's video, we're going to talk about making gold and valuable items in Lost Ark, how to identify them and uh, how to sort through your daily grind in the game. Let's begin the beginning with the content that's guaranteed to give you gold. Uh, first one I want to talk about is the Unas tokens. Now, I'm not going to get into a lot of details as to how to uh, get them, what's every character doing, because I've talked about these things in my previous new player guide. However, the Unas tokens right here, as you gather them from doing dailies and weeklies on each of your characters, this is a common bar for all of your characters on the server. Uh, you can exchange them with chests of gold. You should only buy this chest because it's the most valuable one. The next source of uh, raw gold are your three runs of instance content of your choice uh, based on your item level per week. For example, right now on this character of item level 1445, I can earn gold from uh, Argos, the Abyss Raid Argos, it gives me gold. And I can also get the gold from two Legion Raids, Vikas in normal mode and Valtan, I will choose the hard mode of it. Then we have the Event Island Gold, which can be seen here in this icon called Procreon's Compass. Uh, the Adventure Island, today there is no island that gives me gold. However, if I take a look at the calendar and look, look at Adventure Islands, I can hover and see that Volare, for example, it tells me the dates when it spawns and also the fact that it gives me gold. I will also include here the Chaos Gates because um, of the bid system and the guaranteed legendary map at the end, someone's gonna buy it, right? And you're gonna get a, a share of it. But uh, the amount you get is divided based on how many players were in that gate at that time. So it can vary, but uh, it's still a guaranteed thing, right? Having that said, uh, four chaos gates every week, let's say, gives you a little bit of extra gold right there. Plus, of course, the maps that you get yourself. Again, another guaranteed drop. Other than that, limited, but also guaranteed. Uh, gold is um, from a collectible called the Masterpieces. Uh, this one right here gives you gold, 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 and then more gold right here. RNG gold earned through pieces of content are, for example, the gold portals in a Chaos Dungeon. You do a Chaos Dungeon, sometimes there's a gold portal, you get a couple hundred gold from there. Your guild, for example, can be a guild that's actually performing for one of the three spots on a gold-giving island, and then everyone in the guild that participated in the event gets a share of it. Again, it's I, I call it RNG gold simply because you don't know if five members of your guild are going to be missing that week and then you're not going to get a good spot and then you're not going to get any gold. Generally speaking, any content that has a bid at the end of the run can give you some gold if you get lucky with a good drop, thus it's RNG. Uh, for example, uh, challenge, challenge Abyss Dungeons, right? Uh, these ones right here, uh, these ones can drop a legendary card pack at the end and someone's gonna bid good money for it. World bosses, uh, legion raids, also obviously you can get an engraving book at the end and get more money than the legion raid offers as raw gold. Lastly, in the RNG section, I would like to mention the relic grade map drops from the Chaos Gates. We talked about Chaos Gates as a guaranteed uh, source, but there is also part of the Chaos Gate uh, that's actually RNG. That's all the gold from content itself right now selling goods is another big way of making gold in lost ark tradable uh, honing materials like uh, these ones right here the stones for armor and weapon uh, the leap stones are are very nice as a tip for those of you who are new you should never go cheaper than the cheapest on the weapon crystals for example generally speaking don't go crazy cheap on honing materials they're gonna sell anyway whatever honing material it is and since we're in the honing section basic or a fusion materials uh, again the greater version of them the lesser version of them um, are a very nice thing to sell these you get by uh, crafting in lost ark these days it's quite rewarding as a profession you should choose either excavating fishing or hunting to start off with one of these three is enough only materials from these professions help you craft the uh, oreha fusion materials basic oreha fusion materials with fishing mats and then basic oreha fusion materials with excavation mats if i would have to recommend you one of the three professions i would absolutely tell you to go for excavating even if you don't want to craft these you can sell these 
uh, again these days with uh, very low impact of bots at a very good price now the rest is honestly just gonna be selling accessories L like the like one of the only ways to get mega lucky rich fast in lost ark is to get a really good accessory um, other than that there's legendary engraving books that can potentially drop for you some of these accessories as you can see are highlighted with this blue star i want to teach you that because it's important you open your profile you click on engraving and then here is where you can bookmark engravings by clicking the star now i have bookmarked most of the good engravings on this particular character even though I've left some of the decent ones out. The heavy armor is something decent for a bard, for example, or an artist. I really cannot be bothered uh, about it. Uh, all out attack. Yeah, this is another decent one. Um, what else didn't I do? That's decent. Stabilized status, also decent for some classes. Precise that. You know, there's a couple of others, but really, even if you get a precise dagger, something else, accessory, it's most likely going to sell for like 500, 600 gold. So it's not even worth like, you know, bookmarking it to have it there. Uh, this is my list of bookmarked engravings. You can copy it if you want or adjust it based on the class that you play or the things that you would like to see um, um, on your accessories. And don't forget to bookmark both of the class ones. Super important regardless of what class you play. Yeah. Back to my bag, dismantle, legendary. And here is where I hover over everything that has this... Um, cross so i can see exactly what i'm getting on legendary accessories you're looking for a 3-3 in the engraving section so that piece would be actually worth throwing on the auction house in terms of bonus effects on the stats you're looking for swiftness crit or specialization that's about it every something with anything else you can throw it in the bin quality is also obviously important the better the quality the more money you're going to make from them from a new player's perspective this might seem like a lot like do you actually need to know what every build every class uh, plays so you can understand is, is this a is, is this a good accessory for some class or is this a bad accessory no you don't eventually you're going to be able to uh, save through all of these pieces regardless of if you know what the class plays or not because most things are going to make sense now tripods are also something that can sell but you as a new player getting these legendary tripods nobody's going to buy your level 2 or level 3 tripod people that want to spend money on tripods are looking for level 5 tripods to buy which come uh, later on once you hit the ability to get relic accessories because level 5s can only be present on um, on relics or above so we're going to dismantle all of these first intention Five, ambush master with crit now generally speaking this might sound like a good piece but it, it, it really isn't but but it sounds like one so what you're gonna do is just you know keep it to check its price a little bit later and then these tripods that are level four or level five even some of them uh, I'm, I'm actually gonna keep because I'm gonna be using them myself or checking the auction house to see if I can find something um, that's uh, worth it to sell. So these these earrings, as I told you, there is no such earring, there is no such uh, ring with these particular uh, stats. So uh, because of that, I cannot find it in the active listings on earrings. I cannot find it in the recent prices, which, which are stuff that was sold. So I can see for how much they were sold. So I'm going to assume as a new player that this is a worthless piece and I'm just going to be dismantling it. If it would have been something that would make you rich, someone would have sold it or someone would have bought it in the last 30 days, right? How about this, for example? This um, this tripod, we had a level five like that one. Sky Shattering Blow, Ready Attack, level five. I already know that's a really good tripod, but let's see if we can find any prices for it. So we're gonna go to the uh to this tab right here advanced search because it added all of the criteria. So we we're only we're only interested in this level five tripod anything that has only this one on it or more uh would be of interest 800 gold as a new player i might actually even take that because chances are i will most likely fail the conversion of this tripod for me so i'd rather take the 800 gold and settle with level fours so now that we got through guaranteed gold from content, RNG gold from content, and gold from things that you can sell, valuable items, and how you should think about selling them, getting them yourself. Let's talk about um, 
gold from services. You as a new player might not necessarily care that much about this because you're new, it's going to take you some time before you can get there. However, it's important for the future. Some of you that are new are fast learners um, and gear up fast also, so you might want to get to doing this right away. Uh, people sell runs for a variety of content. It's called busing and it's the biggest way of staying hyper competitive as a free to play player in Lost Ark. There is no other bigger way, more solid way because everything else as we discussed is either based on RNG or a little bit of trickle of gold on six characters on a weekly basis. Selling runs, this is definitely the way to go and there's more things that I could potentially talk about such as playing the marketplace or playing the auction house buying stuff cheap and selling it more expensive that would take another 30 minutes for me to explain there is also the cash shop right which has a currency conversion uh, place where you can purchase gold from other players by using your royal crystals aka real money so uh, you, you know there, there there's more to discuss but not necessarily for a brand new player that just starts the game for you the best advice and what i would do is have patience that's really the thing that i would do in any game that i play before i start making gold specifically in lost ark getting more characters to play getting them to a point where they can farm their uh, three gold earning sources 1445 item level is almost for free these days um, very low investment and also your other things such as gems they don't need to be like level nines or tens you can do very fine with level sixes sevens in the eyes of the community right to get accepted and um, I would start from there, getting one character to 1445, a second character, a third character, and just do everything we just talked about, your chaos gates, get into the daily and weekly routine. Eventually, you're going to get to a point where you're going to have enough gold to move forward, and it's just a matter of weeks, assuming you really take advantage and squeeze everything out of Lost Ark. Um, I would absolutely do that as a new player. I wouldn't slack around, I wouldn't be lazy, and I would just... Um, do a lot of things that we just talked about that being said i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching this one and um, until then have fun in lost ark take it easy and stay safe